We continue our conversation with that preeminent congressman from New Jersey, Jeff Van Drew. Jeff, look, obviously, uh, President Trump coming back to the White House. We're all still giddy, uh, excited about the prospects of Tom Homan leading the greatest deportation effort the world has ever seen, not because we dislike the people that came here, but because we need to have a secure border, and more importantly, we need to have American sovereignty as we try to get people confirmed to execute the vision of President Trump that has a mandate. What is your thought process on those who say uh, that we're going to allow Democrats to slow that down? No, we've got to do everything we can. We do have a mandate, and this is such important stuff. Trish was so right in what she just said. Joe, this is bigger than you. It's bigger than me. You know, it's even bigger than President Trump. This is about the future of the republic, keeping our nation and you were speaking about the Department of Justice. You know, I'm on the Judiciary Committee, as you know. And we brought this all to light. What happened, the, the fake Russian collusion that never existed, where they tried to say Donald Trump's people were working with Russia, it was a total fabrication and a lie. Sending FBI undercover agents into school boards to see what was going on when parents didn't like certain things that were happening. Again, it should have never, ever happened going after people because of their political belief or because they were conservative or whatever their issue was, even thinking about and having emails and a plan across the country to send undercover people into traditional Roman Catholic churches because they said they were domestic terrorists. This is America, Joe. We don't do this. It's awful. I mean, we're trying to get the country back. It's it's crazy to me. I mean, some of these things, I mean, you talk about it, right? Parents in Virginia upset about their children being exposed to sexually explicit behavior, um, activities and, and, and materials, and they put them on a terrorist watch list. I mean, we have actual certified bona fide terrorists coming into this country through the northern border, through the Swanton sector. We've got people uh, to the tune of 23,000 uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese immigrants coming here, uh, up from nearly about 300, uh, most of them military aids men. So you've heard congressional testimony that we have terrorist cells operating uh, in this country. And yet it appears to many that the priority of the Department of Justice under Joe Biden, under the rule of Democrats, has been to criminalize the common man while the homeland has been been made very, very vulnerable. Well stated. I mean, it is bizarre. It is un-American, and you're exactly right. We go after good Americans for doing nothing wrong but just expressing their God-given constitutional rights in America. And where Trish was right, this is so big. You know what? And I say this to my colleagues across the aisle. They don't get it because they always thought they were going to be in power forever because that's what they want to do. But, you know, someday it could happen to them. It could happen to any America, uh, any American. We yeah. can't allow this to happen. Look what happened with Hunter Biden. Special plea deal set up. Never one like that seen before in history. Hunter Biden, they, they go before the judge in Delaware, and even the judge in Delaware says, I can't do this. I've never seen anything like it. This Department of Justice in my mind is, if not the worst, one of the very worst departments of justice in American history. It's horrible. It's Absolutely. awful. I'm, I'm glad been, you brought that up. Judge, yeah, that, that Judge, Judge Norica, God bless that woman. Uh, who sat there and, and had, the, had, had the, the courage to sit there and ask uh, AUSA Leo Wise, uh, has there ever uh, been such a broad and vast uh, plea agreement? And he had to acknowledge no, there had not been. And so they tried to pull a fast one, sweep it underneath the rug, uh, have the president's son pardoned for any and all future and past crimes. Uh, it was an abomination. But again, just one more instance of why there is a such level of disgust with the rot at the core of an institution that is the bedrock of what defines America, the greatest hope for freedom. And with freedom comes justice the world has ever seen. Congressman Jeff Van Drew, always appreciate you, my friend. God bless. We'll talk soon. Thank you.